Yes, good evening again. Uh, this is the agenda of the regular board meeting, the President Board of Trustees, Bill of Brown, Cook County, Illinois. And today is May 12th, uh, 2020. And we did move the meeting to the community center today so we could have more uh, uh, more space and opportunity for public for the public to come in. Our uh, next meeting we may even have a Zoom, so we're going to use a little bit of every avenue that's out there so we can get too familiar with those processes. Um, at this time, um, I will ask for the clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Taft? Here. Trustee Bonner? Trustee Garcia? Here. Trustee Greer? Here. Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Claybrook? Here. Well, can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? <laughs> Jackie Crosby, uh, anybody who did some kind words or kind deeds, uh, uh, then I, uh, I feel that I would, she asked me, so I'm expressing her gratitude for any kind words, kind deeds we've done for Jackie Crosby. Thank you. All right, thank you. Are there any other public comments? Yes, ma'am. Um, Maria Munoz, 11 and 141, uh, Calhoun. And there's like a gray house in front of my house that kind of looks abandoned, so I don't know if, uh, I was going to ask you if that still belongs to someone or it's abandoned, because the grass is like a foot, to, a foot tall already. And I just wanted to know if, uh, if you have any news about that house in Calhoun? Um, it's gray. Well, thank you for your comment. Thank you for your comment. Are there any other comments from the public? I had another comment. Um, I just wanted to know, uh, know what you think uh, about the new hashtag Obamagate. I'm sorry, about the what? Obamagate. Okay, we're just taking comments. Um, if there are no other comments, I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I make the motion to close the meeting to the public. I make a motion to close by Trustee Richardson to close the meeting to the public. Could we have a second, please? Second by Trustee Clay, but will the clerk take a roll? Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clay. Yes. Okay. A motion passed me does not close to the public. As far as the house on Calhoun is concerned, uh, that is going to be uh, cut within a day or so. In fact, uh, the public works will take care of that. And, uh, is it vacant there? Yes. And the, uh, and the Obama gate thing is definitely. <laughs> Conspiracy of naivety. Okay. Um, okay. In the mayor's report, I'd just like to say that the census for Burnham is 54.7 percent complete. So 29 percent was done online. So we need to try to get that up. And we have a sign that we're going to uh, be posting throughout the village, and we would ask that people would uh, you know, 
president participate in that to get our percentage up. In 2010, we was up to 70.1 percent, so we uh, we would like to try to surpass that figure, but we would have a way to go to even be competitive with 2010. So if anybody could participate in that, and as of today, we have uh, we have 121 cases of COVID-19, and you know these figures have really been kind of mind-boggling to me. I've been recording the results since April the 8th, and uh, you know for about 30 different towns. A lot of the towns have really began to sort of pan off and slow down and you know some and uh, one town in particular has about 1600 cases but of course the population is 81,000 residents of the town of Cicero and uh, in some of these cases about 45 percent of these cases are, are centered uh, around uh, an area in particular in Burnham so Any cases is too many, but 121 cases for the town of Burnham with the residents was kind of mind boggling to me. So we were able, with some assistance through the fire department, to find out a source as to why that may have been so high. Um, so we asked everyone if they would keep the grass and stuff cut as well as in the alley. We'd appreciate that. We'd also, uh, and we would also like to congratulate our graduates, you know, since they cannot have an official graduation this year. And we will be um, honoring them in some type of special way. And we might even do another um, motorcade through the community, but this time it'll probably be just Burnham only exclusively, you know, for Burnham kids. So we're going to take a look at that. So we'll be discussing that with the, with the police chief and the fire chief maybe in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, so, for the record, if the people please will follow the website, the Village of Burnham website, that's the way that you would be. And updated and, and stay in, uh, in contact with what the village is doing. And the last thing is that uh, the gloves and stuff that people are wearing, please don't throw the gloves in the street. Don't throw them on the ground before they end up in the sewers and stuff. That's a the problem. But Chicago has a big problem. I've seen a few of them uh, laying around in Brown, so please dispose of them properly where they should be put and not put them on the, on the ground or on the grass or whatever. And the last thing is that if there's anyone here that needs a mask, you want to take a mask, a couple of masks home to your family, you're welcome to do so. And if I would go over and try to protect our citizens as much as possible, then that's uh, our job to do that, and you got my word on it. Thank you. Okay, at this time we will hear a report from Craig Lucia. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Just a reminder that the utility billings are monthly once your water meters have been replaced. Um, the ethics statement must be filed by June 1st. Also, um, my office is um, closed to the public, but payments can be made over the phone by Visa or MasterCard, or you can mail in the payment or drop off in the night drop. Um, no cash is, um, should be placed in the night drop. We're not accepting cash. And that's all I have. Okay, and again, um, the water meter program is going okay. Trustee Richmond will give a specific report on that. But uh, if the people would just kind of uh, follow up and, uh, and watch the readings and whatnot, and you know, you know, some people are saying, oh, well, it's high, it's high. And, you know, someone called up complaining about the bill, and they got eight people living in the house. <laughs> uh, eight people. See, so I would think it would be a little bit more than in my house, and my house is a lot less people than that. Okay. Um, Trustee Grail Public Education and Health, Safety, and Welfare. And good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Again, we'd like to thank all our first responders for their hard work and their dedication. Um, as of May the 12th, 2020, Illinois cases confirmed have been 83,021, and there, there's been over 3,600 deaths. Governor Pritzker announced the creation of Restored Illinois. It's a phased plan to safely open the state. And right now, there's five phases, and right now we are in phase two. <coughs> so we still have quite a ways to go. Coronavirus tips, wash your hands frequently, self quarantine if you feel sick, refrain from touching your face, and carry hand sanitizer. Dr. Fuji, as you know, he's the top chief 
infectious doctor. He says, if we open the state, if we open too soon, it's going to cause needless suffering and deaths. So I mean, everyone is anxious to move out, to get back to work, et cetera, et cetera. But if we move, again, if we move too soon, the cases are going to double, and it's going to cause needless suffering and deaths. The virus cannot be stopped unless we have a vaccine. Each state is responsible for developing a vaccine. And as of uh, this date, Illinois has not discovered a vaccine that can kill the virus. Again, the symptoms for this coronavirus are fever, dry cough, aches and pains, and difficult breathing. Individuals who are out of work because of the uh, coronavirus and are ineligible for state employment benefits, there's a program called Unemployment Assistance Program. It's known as PUA. It started May 11th. And um, their, your benefits will be eligible starting back when this started February the 2nd, and you can receive benefits up until December the 26th, 2020. Again, um, to look this program up, it's called the CARES Act uh, Unemployment Assistance Program. Some court proceedings will continue after um, May, of 30, May 31st. So if some of you, if you know of someone that had court proceedings and it stopped because of the virus, again, some court proceedings will continue after 531. If you're going to take a trip on United Airlines, and if you're flying, the airlines will notify you to let you know if the plane is going to be filled. And if it's, if it's full and you don't want to fl uh, fly, you have the option of rescheduling or canceling now. Just a happy belated birthday to all of my mothers and grandmothers. We hope your day was filled with gratitude for all that you do. Just want to remind you that Thorn Township Food Pantry, every Wednesday, it starts at 9.30 a.m. and it goes to 4 p.m. Address is 15340 South Page Street. Go early and be prepared to wait in the line. The lines are long, but the lines move very quickly. There are many, many people that are taking advantage of this program. And uh, they don't ask for much identification. They're giving out boxes of food. So that's um, it for every Wednesday. Starts at 9.30 to 4 o'clock. The senior carryout lunches are $1.50 at the Thornton Township Center. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 11 to 12.30. Um, that's at 1420 Huntington Drive in Calumet City. Senior lunches are also served at the Riverdale Senior Center on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 10 to 1 p.m. And just want to remind you, I know you all know, the Burnham is constantly moving forward under the leadership of our mayor, Robert Polk. Uh, we just, we're doing some fantastic things, and we just thank you for your leadership, Mayor. Thank you. Now, thank you for working with us. Thank you. 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 Last Saturday, we had the mass giveaway, which was a success. And uh, let me see. And again, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you for your report and that information. Uh, public works and building. Uh, what's the title? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we have a few things. Uh, public works was out uh, cutting grass throughout the village. Um, they also. Um, Moved the garage on Green Bay. What, what address was that, Wendy? 14108. Uh, Green Bay. And, uh, and also, next week is uh, National Public Works Week. It's from May 17th through the 23rd. And it's uh, founded by the American Public Works Association. And it says uh, the, the theme this year is the rhythm of public works. And it's the, uh, this year's exciting public works poster and challenges 
our members and their citizens to think about their communities as a symphony of essential services, working in concert to create a great place. And also I have, um, this is the spring season, um, we'll be putting out our yard waste, and as the yard waste season is from April 1st through the November 30th. And um, there's you know, separate different ways that you can uh, dis dispose of your yard waste with a biodegradable yard waste bag, um, wrapped in small bundles, branches, or what have you, or in a separate yard waste cart or can. And uh, I have a few of these that I made up by the rhythm of public works. If you need one, I can put, take one now or at Village Hall. That's all I have. Thank you, Trustee Craig Russell. We'd also like to add that that through the town and uh, the session of Richard Medina, the public works, uh, another garage had collapsed over on Sagrada at 14034, and I've been trying to get that removed for 19 years. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen today. All right. 19 years. <laughs> Good evening. 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 Good evening.
I'd like to report that the water meter replacement resumed on May 4th. As of today, we're at 928 meters have been replaced, which we are at 77% of um, our project. So we're doing really well, coming along very good. Second, Tom Ed is uh, not disconnecting anyone uh, electricity due to non-payment during this uh, pandemic, at least up through June 1st, and they're not charging any late fees, and they're going to resume uh, the fridge and freezer recycling once we are back to moving around, and they're still offering appliance discounts and rebates for energy efficiency appliances. So um, that's it, that's it for that. And CETA is offering a scholarship for Illinois students going to college, to Illinois universities and colleges. The application must be uh, in the office by June 12th, June 12th, and the office is located at 53 East 154th Street in Harvey. So on June 12th by five o'clock, if you're interested in applying for these scholarships, your application must be in. And they're giving scholarships from 500 to $3,000, which could be very helpful for students. Um, but you must live in the suburban Cook County uh, area. And the scholarships are funded by the Community Services Block Grant. So if you know of anyone that uh, may be eligible for these, for the scholarships, there's a number you can call, 312-259-4237. Get more information or an application. Recreation, uh, Trustee Brown is absent, um, and we don't have anything to report on the park project, so we'll hold that off right now. So the attorney is working on that, and I will not ask him to speak on it. I have some detail that's uh, just not worked out yet, so we will not mention that tonight. Um, Mr. Johnson, you know you, uh, you all kind of spoil my little surprise a little bit, so you can do that right now. You know what I ask you to do. I just asked him to get uh, him to do it. There was something else. Would you do that part? Oh, uh, I don't know what the second thing was. Oh, uh, somebody, somebody, yeah, uh, somebody else's birthday, but. Uh, oh. Oh, uh, no, 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 that's him. Oh, this is him? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, trust me. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Family Christian Health Center. So we're about to go to the hospital. Oh, okay. 
-hmm. and fresh vegetables. Okay, well, thank you. Yes, and again, Mayor, I don't know a, a lot of people um, have been mentioning, and again, I want to thank you for organizing the mass, um, the free mass drive on Saturday. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and uh, certainly, it's our goal and our position to do whatever we can to assist our residents here in the village of Brown. That's our job, and that's why they they elected us and they selected us for these positions and they entrusted us to take care of their business and that's what they're going to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. A motion on favor of Trustee Claiborne, we need a second. Second. Would the clerk take a roll? Trustee Katz? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. The meeting is adjourned and thanks for coming. Thank